what's up it's Meezy coming at you from my living room today once again and in today's video we're going to talk about what you absolutely 100% need to become a software developer or learn how to code in 2020. Alrighty, so I want to start this video off by giving a little bit of my background. If you have not watched my How I Became a Software Developer video, I will link it right here um, and also down below in the description box. Um, but I have been, so I started coding, learning, like I started taking computer science when I was in high school. Uh, my freshman year of high school, I took my first computer computer science class. Before that, I had just done like uh, web development classes in which... When I did them, it was only HTML and CSS. I never got in introduced to the JavaScript or jQuery part of it. So, yeah. Okay, so that was high school. And then college, I went and I got my degree in computer science. And now I've been working since I graduated from college for the past almost three years. So I say all that to say I am not starting out. Okay, so I, but I, I was... I was a beginner at one point in my life. So that's why I'm making this video. And it's also for all those people who may come under this video and tell me what I need and what I, hey, we good over here. I will take suggestions though. I will take suggestions, but mean comments do get ignored and or deleted. Alrighty, so the first thing that you absolutely need is a computer. And I say computer because it could be anything. It could be a laptop. It could be a tablet or iPad, or it could even be a phone. Now, the phone will not be the most comfortable way to code, no doubt, but it works. And if it's the only thing you have, it's the only thing you have. Um, so a laptop, let me be a little bit more specific. You don't need anything with wild specs. You don't need 32 gigs of RAM to learn about for loops and how to print Hello World. You just don't need that. Um, so there's no reason to go out and spend thousands of dollars or even try to build a computer just to learn how to code. Um, you also don't specifically need a Mac. A lot of people seem to think that they cannot start their coding journey until they have a Mac. And if you let that hold you back, I mean, it's going to take you way too long to start. You, you, you might as well just go for it with what you have. Make what you have work and work yourself up. My first computer was an Acer, it was a, a desktop my parents got for me and that was maybe in fifth grade, I don't know. So I had that and then uh, when I got to high school, they bought me a laptop and then when I went to college, I needed another laptop because I ran that first laptop into the ground. Um, and then all, all those being PCs, when I was in school, we used PCs, like PCs everywhere. Um, it wasn't until I got to college, actually, that I ever even used a Mac. And then I went through all my first three and a half years of college with my PC. And I'm talking, I was running any IDE you could think of. I was running it. I had so many virtual machines downloaded on my computer. I mean, I had the regular stuff downloading, you know, music, videos, stuff like that. Um, I just had a lot of stuff running on this computer. And so I kind of ran it into the ground. Um, a big thing that I was running on there was Android Studio, so that was taking up a lot of my space and a lot of my power. Ran that laptop into the ground, and at this point, I had developed like two Android applications. I was like, you know what? I like apps, but I'd already switched to iPhone, and I'm like, okay, I don't want to develop Android apps. I don't have an Android. Um, and also, <clears throat> I wanted to just develop apps in general. And with the Mac, I can develop for both, right? But with the PC, I could only do Android apps. And so I told myself, well, when my computer poops out, I'm going to get a new one. I'm going to get a Mac. That way I can be an iOS developer and uh, I can be an Android developer. And I'll just make all this money from creating apps. Ask me if I have ever created one app since I graduated college. Crickets. Okay, um, but yeah, so that's that was my journey of computers. So you don't need anything super fancy to start off with. That's that's all I'm trying to say. The next thing that you need to become or to learn how to code is a good coding environment. So some type of um, IDE, which is an integrated development environment, or just a um, 
why is it? a code editor, right? So my preferred code editor is Visual Studio. Um, at home, I use Visual Studio Code, and at work, I use Visual Studio, Visual Studio, like you know, full, full, full fledged Visual Studio. But that's for work. Vis Visual Studio Code works great for me. I love it. It has all the extensions that you need, um, and you can also choose different themes. So. You just have a lot of customizations there, and I don't know, it works well. There are other code editors out there, Notepad++, which is a PC exclusive, but I absolutely love it. I use it a lot at work, since I do work on a PC at work. Um, what else? Uh, Sublime Text, I used to use that one a lot. There's Atom, which I've never used, but it's pretty popular, and then I'm sure there's many others, uh, but those are just the ones that come to mind. So you need one of those so you can actually code and have the autocomplete features and all of that. Somebody's dog is going off out there. Um, but also, I mean, you could also just code in Notepad, right? Just put it all in Notepad and find a compiler online, throw it in there, and boom, there you go. Um, there's also just so many ways that you can code online now that it's not even a big deal if, let's say, you didn't have enough space to download any of these things. It, you can find so many resources online to build and run your code that it's not a big deal. All right, so the last thing that you need to learn how to code is an internet connection. Now, is this absolutely, positively, 100% necessary? No, you can have a large stack of books as well, but it's way easier to Google stuff than it is, or way more efficient to Google stuff than it is to look through like a pile of books, um, and books cost money, or you have to go to the library, and maybe you can't get to the library. So, I mean, it's just a handoff. Would you rather spend money on internet or spend money on books? Up to you. Or get into a place to go get books. Um, but yeah, so you basically just need a resource that you can reference, right, to see if you're doing something right, or learn a new concept, or something like that. Alrighty, now that we have ran through everything that you absolutely need, let's talk about a few things that will make things easier, but you definitely do not need these just to start. Alrighty, so extra monitors, like what you see behind me. Extra monitors are not necessary, but they do make things easy and give you a larger working space. Um, external keyboards. They also make things a little easier, but are definitely not necessary. This specific keyboard does not make anything easier. It is so flat, okay? When you do things for the aesthetics, sometimes you have to pay, and this flat keyboard, I am, I am paying for it, okay? Um, a wireless mouse, that's another thing that's not absolutely necessary, but definitely makes things easier. Um, a lot of people have mechanical keyboards, which I think are beautiful. I'm planning on purchasing one, but you definitely don't need a mechanical keyboard to learn how to code. And the last thing that's a little controversial, controversial, <laughs> that's a little controversial, my hot take, you do not need an expensive degree or a boot camp. And do y'all want to know something? My degree is not even in here. This is like the paper that they give you to tell you where to go pick up your degree, but my actual degree is not even in here. It's at my parents' house. That's how, that's how much I am not that concerned about the actual sheet of paper. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, you can self-teach, you can, you can be self-taught. There are so many super successful self-taught people out there. I am not one of them. I don't think that I really would have been able to teach myself. I like, I don't know, I kind of just thrive in the classroom, so that's better for me. Um, but if you don't have the money or the resources to be able to do a boot camp, which is not cheap, um, and or a degree, which is also not cheap, then you can definitely self-teach. Will it take longer? Yes, but it's a trade-off, right? Time is money. Money, time. Which one, which one do you which one do you want to spend now? Which one do you currently have to spend? So, yes you can teach yourself to code, it's so possible. There's so many like Udemy tutorials and uh, what's the other one? Not Skillshare, um, I don't know. So many different courses you can learn to code. Code Academy, I used to do Code Academy classes um, just for fun to learn web development. So you have options. 
Alrighty, and then one more thing that you absolutely need is a support group. So whether you find community online, um, you have like a group of friends that's helping you out, like you just need to make sure that you have some type of support because this is not easy, especially if you go self-taught. It's gonna be super hard. Um, and even if you not, are not self-taught, if you go to school and get a computer science degree, like getting that degree was easily one of the hardest things I've ever done in my life. I'm really not sure if I've done anything harder. Maybe I'll share some horror stories with you from my days in college. I don't know if I'm ready to expose myself like that. But um, yeah, it's not easy. Don't give up and it's definitely going to take like months and months. It's not gonna be like one month and you are Steve Jobs. Like it's not gonna happen like that. So don't get discouraged. You can do it. You're gonna be great. Alrighty, thank you so much for watching today. Don't forget this video is literally just to get you to start, okay? Just to start up, right? You can build up to everything that you see behind me, um, the multiple computers, the hard drives, all that stuff. You can build up to that. You do not have to start with all that stuff in your arsenal, okay? You can start with just a basic laptop and go. That's all you really need. So, uh, don't forget to subscribe, like the video. Thank you so much for watching once again. Share with your friends, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.